Good day, folks. This is a 44 cap and ball revolver. I bought this a uh, long number of years ago. When I got it, it was in a Ziploc bag of parts. <laughs> One part was bursted in it. Anyway, I fixed uh, the part and got it working again. Uh, great old uh, gun to fire. This is the uh, cylinder that goes in there. This is where you put your percussion caps. And here is where you put your ball in with the ramrod. It's black powder only. One thing uh, about this gun, the grip that came with it was relatively small. It didn't really fit the full hand. Your bottom, your little finger is kind of crowded off the bottom of the grip. And the gun being so long, you got an 8 inch barrel. The overall length is a little over a foot long. So being long and kind of nose heavy with a small grip uh, it wasn't really the easiest to hold on to so I thought that if it had a longer grip it might make it uh, a little bit easier to hold on to so what I did I made up a, a longer grip I got it made out of pieces and I have a brass plate on the bottom of it to hold all the pieces together this side here you can see where I put a piece in between at the bottom just two pieces of walnut they were salvaged from an old trophy trophy stand had uh, walnut base on it it's difficult to get walnut and it's a hard wood to work with but anyway I managed to uh, make a, a full size grip for it where it fits your full hand so your bottom finger is certainly not crowded off the grip and it, uh, it it's much more comfortable to hold on to. Uh, when I got this, the part that was busted was the pawl. You see as uh, you cut this gun, there's a little piece comes out right here. This is the pawl. This is the part that rotates the cylinder up and lines it up the next chamber in line with the barrel so that part was broken so I got a, another piece made out of a piece of stainless steel plate that I replaced with and uh, that's the only part of this gun now that is stainless steel but nevertheless it uh, functions fine there now hope you liked the video guys it's just uh, something you can do with your cap and ball revolver if you find that your grips are a little small and uh, this makes it a lot more comfortable to hold on to. Thanks for watching. Bye.